when we obey God, we can expect we can expect blessing from our obedience. Um, if that makes sense, like, like we know, like there's fruits that come when we obey him. So did you experience, like, what were those blessings that you saw in that year of being abstinent and just getting to know him? It was a total of three years of abstinence because it was a year of not having any, like men were my weakness. So I was single for an entire year and that was a very long time for me because I hadn't been single for almost probably 10 years. It was like, I would just go back to back to back relationships. So, um, it was three years of abstinence. Um, and there are blessings in our obedience. It says that in the book of Deuteronomy. And, um, I saw many of the Lord's blessings at any time that I took a step of faith, any time that I trusted his voice, there was always something that was, that was wonderful that would come forth from that. Um, one of those things is, uh, my husband, for example, like I, I followed the Lord and it's funny because I didn't share this with you, but there was a time when I was brand new to church and I kept, this woman kept inviting me to the young adult ministry and I was like, fine, I'll go. So I go and my husband, my now husband is preaching and he says, I have a word just for the women. I want you to know that you are worthy of real true love that you're a woman of God, that you're worth the weight. And if your man isn't treating you as a woman of God, he needs to step up or step out, show him the exit sign because you're worthy of real true love and you're worth the weight. Well, like I said, men were my weakness. So after the pimp, I started dating another guy, like in a matter of weeks, I was already in a relationship. And after hearing that message, I got convicted. And because this guy was telling me like when I was looking for a job, like, oh, you could go back to stripping or, you know, at least. And I'm like, what if someone at church sees me? That would be awkward. He's like, nobody in church goes to strip clubs. I'm like, I don't know. You're encouraging me to go. So anyways, I heard that message and I broke up with the guy. And of course my brain goes there because, you know, I'm not, I don't like being single. And I tell God, well, I mean, that preacher, like he's really, you know, I'm single now. God's like, stop it. You're going to take a year off dating. (laughs) And so um, over that year though, I started serving in the ministry with no, no ill intentions. I wanted to grow in the Lord. Um, My husband was leading the ministry, but we weren't super connected. Like I would do greeting and so forth. Um, And so, but over that year, like we started developing a friendship. And when my year was up, like before, probably within five months, I heard the Lord tell me like, that's going to be your husband. And I'm like, oh my gosh. He said, don't tell anyone that, you know? And so Mm -hmm. I didn't fully obey. I told people that it would never get to him. Nobody in my church knew, but like my sister knew. And my sister actually talks about it on our wedding day. She's like, I remember when my sister told me you were going to be her husband. And she's like, I told her she was crazy, but now I see that God really does speak to people. So it was like a testimony to her too, which was really cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. So like you said, that was one of the biggest blessings of your obedience is that you, God gave you your husband. I know people who are single and trying to make it through their single season and be obedient and it's really hard and they keep falling back into the sexual sin. And I don't know, I just encourage them to to just try it out, like just keep trying God's way and see like God knows the desires of our hearts. And, you know, in a timing that is best for us, I really do believe that he will provide um, for those desires. So I, I love that your story you know, had that happy, not ending, but new beginning. Yes. New beginnings. I love that. Yeah. I mean, and then just like following the Lord from there, like when he tells, when he told us to launch our ministry and so forth, and just not even like knowing all of the crazy opportunities that we would be given, you know, like I remember when you're telling God, like I used to love traveling and porn, but I I never enjoyed it because I was so depressed that I would just stay in my hotel room and I wouldn't get out. And I told God, if you ever gave me the chance to travel again, like I would get out and I would enjoy all your beauty. I would just be outside and and just enjoy everything you created. And I felt the Holy Spirit say, where do you want to go? And one of the places I wanted to go was Italy. Um, And I've always, I'm obsessed with monkeys. So another, I just wanted to go somewhere where I could hang out with the monkey. And that year, 
God blessed us with the opportunity. We went and spoke in Indonesia, which they then sent us to Bali and I was able to hold a monkey. And then that same year, we also went to Italy. Oh so it's like, and we got to tour many cities and it's like, like God, he really cares about the desires of your heart. But the problem is oftentimes our sin is what keeps us from following him. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants to, wants to lead you into still waters. He wants to lead you into the places that your heart genuinely desires that are going to honor and glorify him. Um, but if we're not going to follow him, then how can he lead us there? You know, he's, it's kind of like when we choose disobedience, it's like Jesus is standing there going, come on, daughter, like, yeah. follow me. Like, I'm going to lead you to some really great places. Yeah. Like, just trust me. But he's just standing there because you're not moving, you know, yeah. like, if anything, maybe you're walking in the opposite direction. Yeah. And so it's so important that we, Jesus is not just our savior. He is our Lord. Like, we have to follow him and know that he's going to lead you into blessings. Like, he really will. That's so good. Thank you for sharing that. That I feel like that should get anybody excited about walking in obedience.